Hello friends, welcome back to the videos. So in the previous videos, we have seen three different operators, arithmetic operators, logical operators and comparison operators. In order to study bitwise comparators, the following are the bitwise comparators we will be studying here. They are AND, which is indicated with ampersand, or the symbol for this is just above the enter symbol, enter key on your keyboard, then to the power of, and this to the power of is nothing but your XOR. Don't panic. These are the words that we will be using. I will explain in detail. This is a NOT operation. Right. And then this is left shift and this is right shift. They are called as bitwise operators. You must be wondering why am I telling again AND, OR and NOT which we were calling it as logical operators. Right. That is a question you might be having in your mind. Let me tell you about the bitwise operators. In order to understand what is bitwise operators, so we have to have some idea about the number systems. So let's see, if you look at the number systems, we have various number systems. They are decimal number systems, binary number systems, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. When I say decimal number system, we are very familiar with this decimal number system where we use it for counting. We start from 1 and we start going on counting them. While this number system is very convenient for human beings, it is not convenient for the system to process. Hence, we came up with another number system called as binary number system where everything is represented in terms of zeros and ones. Similarly, we have other number systems called as octal. Octal, the word oct, it, in, it indicates 8, right? So that means the octal number system has 8 elements, which are the 0 to 7 are the elements. Similarly, hexadecimal number system, hexadecimal, which means 16, right? So in the case, so we have numbers from 0 to 9. After 9, instead of 1, 0, it will be A to F followed with 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2 and on. So let me show you in the form of a table. Look at this decimal number system 0, right? I have numbers from 0 to 9. Followed with, I take a combination of again 0 to 9 by adding 1 to it. I make 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 like this. This is a very common number system which all of us are aware of. On the other hand, in order to make your system to understand, I will be using binary number system which has only two elements, 0 and 1. Whatever is the number, I have to represent using only zeros and 1s. Say, suppose I want to indicate 0, I will use only 1, 0. 1, 1. 2 K here, so it is not sufficient. I, I have to make a combination of 0 and 1. So that becomes 1, 0. E is representing 2. Similarly, 3, 1, 1. 4, 1, 0, 0. 2 bits are not sufficient to represent 4. Hence, I make use of third bit. Okay, each of these zeros and ones are termed as bits. That is what we are going to see in the next operation, bitwise operators. So, I will be instead of working on the whole number, I will be working instead on the bitwise. Right? Similarly, I have represented 6, 7. See, after 7, 3 bits are not sufficient. So, I will make use of 4 bits. Right? Each of these zeros and ones are called as bits. Similarly, in the octal number system, I have from 0 to 7, as you can observe, from 0 to 7, uske baad, I will make use of again the same numbers in combination with 1. How in the decimal system, after 9, I made use of 1011. 1, 1. Here also, I will make use of 
After 7, I will make use of 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7. Then again, I will start from 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 like this. Similarly, on the other hand, I have hexadecimal numbers. Okay, hexadecimal as I said, it is, I have numbers from 0 to 9 and A to F. So, 0 to 9 I have. So, after 9, I will not start with 1, 0. Instead, I will represent with A, capital A. A, a B, C, D, E, F. Then, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 1, A, 1, B, 1, C, 1, D, 1, E, 1, F. Then, 2, 0, 2, 1. Right? It would be a good exercise if you try writing these numbers. Right? 0 to at least 30 numbers. Right? Try representing both in all the ways. Decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number systems. Right? So, think this as an assignment and try doing it for the, uh, complete the table till 30 digits, 30 decimal numbers. Okay? Hope you have understood. Why I introduced to the number systems? In the next uh, video, we will be studying about this binary numbers, right? So, where we will be dealing with bitwise operators. That is why I have introduced you to this bitwise operators and number systems. Okay. See you in the next video. Thank you.